Hello and welcome everybody to 1996. Upper Deck is trying to break into this premium market as are a lot of companies like Skybot. We'll talk about other premium sets, but this is the first year they released SPX Football. Now, if you're like me and you lived through the 90s, you're gonna remember another release that they had, SPX Basketball. Who's this? That's Michael Jordan. That's right. You can see his hologram right there. That's Michael Jordan right there. The man himself, the legend, the apparently a really good golfer. I mean, his golf course looks amazing. Either way, we're not talking about this. Notice a couple of differences. There's a gold foil SPX up here at the top of the basketball, whereas football has just a printed black SPX. Come on, Upper Deck, what's going on? Anyway, so the horizontal card design right here, you can see the Upper Deck logo, this ellipse shape, this oval shape with these little squares right here. You notice the silver paint, it kind of is lost in the hologram. There's silver on the side here, kind of a gray, but you can get a gold variation, a gold insert, a gold parallel series, I guess you could call it. Uh, yeah, running back dot Colts. On the back, uh, I forget, it flips this way, so you don't flip it that way, you flip it like this. First, let's look at Marshall Falk. I opened one pack of football, one pack. Here's Marshall Falk, look how happy he is. Then he's like, oh, I'm gonna run you over, man. He's like, goes into running back mode, running back mode, PR mode. Run you over, hi, but look at this animation. It's so cool, we actually, it's like video, I say it all the time, it's like video in a card. It was so cool back in the day. Still to this day, I feel like it's hard to compete with these cards. They're just absolutely amazing. I'm flipping it the wrong way, you see, I flip it this way, uh-huh. Marshall Falk, Colt, you can see right here, 1996, can you read that fine print? I can't even read it through my viewfinder. Somewhere in there, there's a 1996, obviously a licensed product. And again, you can see the silver. This one is cut poorly. Can you see how there's lots of gray down here and there's very little gray up here? Clearly off-centered, so. The other thing that's interesting about these is when they're cut, when they're stamped, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see in the reflection here, but there is a stamping mark right here. Can you see that? Should I pull it out of the, I wonder if pulling it out of this case is gonna help you see that better. The things I do for everybody out there, here we go, let's just pull it out, okay. So right here, can you see this lip right here? Can you see that lip? That's very common on SPX. It just, uh, not sure if that's something I really like. And there's a little ding right here. So not perfect condition. You see, I flipped it the wrong way. Flip it this way. There we go. Let's see if we can get a really clear picture of Marshall Falk smiling at you. I'm pulling this out of its sleeve so you don't have to pull yours out. Ding, serious. Marshall Falk was amazing to watch. Ding. Let's see, what was the quarterback that went to the Colts? Does somebody remember some, Peyton somebody? Peyton Manning, a man of a man, Peyton Manning. Huh, I wonder if they won any Super Bowls. Uh, uh, too bad we can't go into the future. Too bad we'll never know. Well, I'm gonna sleeve this back up, put it back in the top loader. Let me know your thoughts about the Colts, about Marshall Falk, about the Hall of Views right here, the SPX. Do you like holograms on cards? Do you miss holograms on football cards? Now that Panini's taken over, it seems like it's just their milk in this prism design to death. I'm excited to read your comments. If you wanna support the channel, you can visit my Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.